Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. We're going to do part 5 <laughs> of this page we're doing in Disney Dream Collections. So we're working on this page. Today we're going to do the gray tones that are in the bottom half of this page. So I've gotten out all my gray tones. So it's um, the three gray tones that we used on um, her skirt. We have not even finished his little um, ascot, I guess is what you call that. They tie a scarf with a little thing on their jackets. Then we have the uh, floor, this little ball, this little bar, these little things here along with the railing, which uh, at this end turns into more of a gold. But over here it's gray with red roses coming up, red and white. The floor is kind of speckled. This is more black. We can go over that line so we don't have to mess with that one. And this is gray here. So basically we'll be using the warm grays. And I may get out the whole portion of warm grays. I don't know. Right now I have uh, two, three, and... Mm -hmm six <laughs> black white uh, the prisma in white I also have some brown tones here I have dark sepia burnt umber and walnut the um, hmm. I'm not gonna call it grout but in the grout lines we'll put it that way this is a um, like a slate floor with the lines in it that look to be more of a brown color than a black color. So I'm going to go over all those lines with some brown in some areas and leaving the corners of it with the black line. And then we'll push on through the rest of this floor. Um, it's not going to be a very exciting video, sorry to say, but it has to be done. <laughs> so this is a little dark sepia and I'm just going to kind of touch up some of these corners. Add in some lines here and there. I haven't done his tail either but I'm going to do it the same as his fur and I want to get the floor done so I can bring some of his fur into the floor. So just going around and adding, subtracting, and kind of laying in some lines that are not there but should be. And I want to make sure I get some depth in there in the corners and in some of these pieces. Not so bright on this side but we're still going to add the lines in that we need. Try to keep your lines going in the same direction as the one below. So um, those weren't. <laughs> now they are. <laughs> Turning the book might help. These I think are leaves and rose petals. Okay, I'll get a little of that. Now we're going to take whatever this one is, the Burnt Umber, and go around some of these lines. It's supposed to be brown and not black. This one looks suspiciously large, so we're going to make a line in that. <laughs> so it's 
something like that. You're all doing well today. I'm going to turn the book so I can keep those lines going in the right direction because I am not good at getting a straight line even when I have a ruler. <laughs> yeah, it's probably why I don't use rulers as often as I should. And we're going to put a little shadow underneath this area. This is going to be the golder area, so does everybody have some brown on it? And I think we can put a little brown up on that top and over here. I guess there should be a line up here too because it's not a little shelf so we'll just make that line there and make one up here somewhere okay floor is done we can add a little bit of darkness in here too we haven't done this pillar take our lightest gray and we're going to go over the floor here. It's kind of filling in all those tiles. We already have some yellow in this side that I put down originally with the dress colors. Just going to get it nicely gray. We have a shadow under here. So this shadow comes across here. I want to make that darker. And then of course under her dress, which we're going to just kind of color over because I'm doing white ruffles on the bottom. There's a Tiny shadow going around in here. So I'll make sure we darken up those areas. Okay, there seems to be a shadow coming somewhere over here and up in this area. Okay. All our shadows on these are going to be on this side. So we're going to darken up that side. I know it doesn't look like we're darkening it, but at least I know where it is, right? Uh, it kind of goes down this way. And then there's one over here, but we can't see it very well. Okay. There's... Uh, 
In the page over here, they show it as part of the thing over here with the one flower here. So I'm going to gray up this area on this side. Just make it even. Gray this one up. This one. And the last one over here. Okay. We also have a roof line up here, but I'm going to do that in the cool grays because we have a blue sky, so that would look better with that. Okay, okay. I'm going to take this and kind of darken up some areas of some of these stones. And we're going to put some of this in this orb thing. Okay, we're going to get a lot of yellow in here. It seems to have a little green over here for some reason. Next one is number three. Kind of go in and do the same thing. We want to darken our shadows. So we're going to put them under here. I really don't like what I did there, so we're going to get rid of that. Hopefully. <laughs> and darken that up with some gray. So we're putting a shadow under his tail under his toes, which is okay to go over um, because they're black. We can definitely darken those up when we're not shadowing it under here. Uh, kind of right down to where her dress touches the floor. And then up into this area here. And kind of blend that out. We're going to darken this little guy up here a little more. I don't exactly know how dark I can get that. Looks like it has blue in it. I've said that already. We're going to darken up some of this area. This also looks to have some blue in it. Nope, oh, that part's green. This part's gray. This part. A little bit of that. It's greenery. Gray, gray. And gray. Okay, go back up to these little guys up here and darken this side a little more. And underneath that um, little hand railing. So I'll turn the book here. 
I am assuming there's a piece of the hand railing under here. We're going to darken that up. Across to here, here, bring that up into this area. There's probably a little bit of it there, and then on that side. And then we'll add some of this into some of these too. Here and there. We want to make it look random. Over on this side. Okay, we have our darker gray or the darkest gray. We're going to just go over the same areas and darken those up. Okay, then we're going to go back onto the floor again. Maybe add some cracks in here. Remember to get our shadow a little darker in these areas. I have to get down a little closer and see what I'm doing there. I'm leaving a lot of lines. <clears throat> Let's get you down a little closer. And then I can get a little closer. And those are definitely too sharp. So I'm going to take out a few of them. And then kind of um, rub my pencil a little so I have a flat area so I can shade that a little better.
go through a couple of these and just add a line coming across or down old floor is rock okay then we're going to move on to this little orb here we're going to darken up these sections right where they gave us that line Something in that line, darken up in here. Shadow on that flower, maybe. It's really dark over here, but this is supposed to be foliage, but I'm gonna throw a little of that dark gray in there. Just getting it gray. Just using the side of the pencil very lightly here. Okay, we can bring in some of the yellow tones on this side. We got a lot of it going on over here for some reason. Very shiny polished floor, I'm not sure. <laughs> We're just going to run that yellow up in there. The color I'm using is oh no, Dark Naples. One of the colors in the dresses. We're also going to bring um, it right up into this pillar because it has to go up the pillar. It's going to go on this side of these things. <laughs> yeah, they have a name. I don't know what they are. I'm going to go over some of those leaves because I need to get the yellow on here and all I have to do is put a nice gorgeous green on top of that and the yellow will be its highlight. Just going all the way up our whatever this is. There isn't one on the other side, so I just assume it's a pillar that's in here. Okay. Go in a different direction, just so we don't have lines. And it looks like it's a solid yellow piece. That is the front end. And this is the back, or the side. Make sure we get that. with a little yellow in it because it gets grayed out. Okay. I think there's a tiny bit of yellow in this one. There. Okay. We are going to go back over these and make sure we have gray in that also. I 
Okay, I'm building it up this way. This side is grayer, so we're going to bring some of that in. Kind of hard to find out where your wall is in your vine, but like I said, we could always erase it, go over it with a darker color. Manage to get it the color it needs to be. We're going to just put a little gray in here too. Here, gray is going to be our shadow. Okay. There's just one of a hundred tones we're going to put on here, it seems like. <laughs> Go in with the uh, number three. Is this number three? Yeah, no, number two. What was I using? I was using the number three. Okay, well got that darker than I wanted to, but that's okay. We're going to bring in the darkest one and darken under here. Do I have my little side I need? There we go. This is the darkest portion down here. It hits the ground. It's behind this portion of the railing. Just go up the side here, pull those lines in. Keep working on that. This area looks to be a lot smaller on this picture over here. Gonna add a little more of that darkness in these little hand railing areas. And a little bit more down in here. we can do on the floor. Do we need to put a little tiny bit of yellow over here too? Just a bit. We can put a little bit here. It's a reflective something sphere here. So we can put a little of that in there and then blue on this side for I guess his coat. So we'll throw a little blue down in the gray, bring that up.
Put the black in there too. Especially down here at the bottom. gray over here. Bring that up in the yellow. Bring it back down into the blue. Lightest gray. And the yellow again. And the light blue. Blue again. Okay, so sorry, you did not see the last thing I did. So I was working on this little ball. This is one of the <laughs> things that upsets me when I film, is that I don't get to look in the camera half the time while I'm coloring. So what I did was I added black down in this area here, went across the lines here and darkened them, added the yellow in here, the light blue over here. We still have a lot of work to do on this to make it look like it's a ball and not a bunch of funny little lines in here. So this paper here, trying to keep it so I'm not transferring color on the page behind. So I'm just going around Kind of circular motions forward and backward covering up that wicked little line that we didn't want there and darkening the colors here keeping our little bit of yellow where the yellow should be i'm going to go in with black darken this edge down here bring it up a rounded area here. Up on that side. Bring in the light blue. Have it come down in around. So it looks around. Same with the yellow. We want to come it down in around. We're a ball. We want to look like a ball. <laughs> the darker blue. I'm going to take in a little of the um, white, the Prisma white, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make that look rounder by just pulling it in and around. Ball there. Okay. 
Then I'm just going to roll it around with my finger to make sure all those colors are blended. That looks pretty good. Sorry, I did not get all of that filmed. Wish there was a way I could see this, what I'm filming, in a different location down here on my desk so I could make sure I was in focus all the time. All right. Um, this area down here, I'm going to bring in a little Posca. And I'm going to white out that line that goes across there because it needs to be the lighter of the lines. And right now it's too dark. So we're just going to lighten it up. This corner over here. That around there. And that way when we put our light gray on there, it won't look like a big black line we're trying to cover up with the light gray, which helps me out a lot. While we have our grays out, I'm going to take the two lightest ones. So we're going to go up here and work on his material here. So this is number three. We need a darker shadow here under his jacket lapel around that cute little birdie and down in here. That's his fingernail. It can be dark. This side is folded over so it's going to be in the shadow. This one's going to be less in the shadow there and more up here. And then we have it coming up here around her arm, the shadow down here at the bottom. Okay, white Pasca. We don't need this line. We really don't even need half of that line. Don't understand that line. That doesn't need to go up as high, and I don't think I want that one. Okay. I really don't need these either, but I'm going to take out Those lines. Gotta let those dry. These down here dry, so we're gonna work on this area. Okay. Gonna add a little bit of green gold onto these rocks up here. Do a little of that in there too. Under the shadows. I think that's a rose stem or something. <laughs> there we go, put it in there. Okay, go back with the gray up on these. He might be dry enough up here. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to take the white Posca and we're going to fluff this up a little bit. We want a little ruffling going on over here, so it's just like little squiggly lines. Same on this side. Can go over that black line and accentuate or exaggerate those little ruffles by pulling them out. We'll pull them up into his fur line up here. We'll add them on this side too. Just a wiggly line down to her sleeve. We've got the ruffle stuff coming out of his sleeves and we're going to pull a little of this ruffle down in here. Bring some of those lines up. And there we have his collar. It goes all the way up here. So we're just going to wiggle that line all the way up in here and then blend it into his collar line over there. Boom, boom. So that's done. When we're up here in the collar, we just take a little bit of that um, dark Naples ochre and just go over that as a shadow and get our white Posca out of our blue over here. We'll just take a blue and darken that up. Just like that. So now his color is done. Okay, we're back down to this little ball, these little feet, these little things. I have to smear that out. What I'm going to do is get um, some gelatos. Okay. So I got out an Earl Grey. Great tone. <laughs> We're going to throw a little of this. I'm going to have to get it out a little further. On some of these rocks. Just kind of tapping it on the paper of where I want and then I'm just going to come in and wiggle that around a little bit. It's okay if we get really close to him. One, I need a shadow on him anyway, but I need to do his fur and I want to be able to do his fur on top of this. So there we go. We're going to make sure we get a nice shadow down here right over his toes and bring that right out. We're going to do a couple colors, so. And hold on a moment, please. Okay, back. Phone call. Had to take it. Husband called. <laughs> so there we go. We're going to go up this thing there, too. We're just trying to get shadows in here, make the floor look a little prettier. I think the gelatos work nice when they are sitting on um, either the pencil that's on this page that I put down or the slick paper. And I kind of like how they go down on it. And then we're going to get another color. That one was Earl Grey is gray. <laughs> Silver ice I think has got a little tiny bit of sparkle in it but a little lighter color. We're going to throw some of that down in some areas. It's got that. We're going to put it on the railing here. Why not? Railing would be sparkling, right? And a little up here. There we go. And just rub that in. Okay. 
what else did I get? I got a brownish tone thistle. It looks to be really dark. I'll put those in the shadow areas before I scratch it out on other places. I'm going to go up this with some of that too. Boom, 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 boom. There's a leaf there. I'll go boom, boom over there. I'll get those dark corners up there. Okay. Smear that around. <laughs> and then darken up some of these areas here. Just going to run a line right across there. Pull that up into those areas. And start getting that dark. Um, this is a dark green bush. There we go. Okay, anywhere else with that one? And then the last one I have is Fig. This is one of the pastel colors, so it'll be a lighter gray. And I liked it for down here. Kind of a silver color. We'll be going over that with pencil. We'll add a little bit of that on the floor too. Or maybe we'll go this direction with this one. Put some of that on those guys too. Oh, that one kind of went clunky, so let's take that out. Up on that side. A little on there. Okay. Brought out a little yellow too, just to go over on this side. So we'll plop some of that here and there. And blend that in too. Also take that up here. And darken some of that up. I tell you, that's fun. <laughs> Get your fingers in it. Put a little yellow around there. And then go this direction. A little down here. Maybe I'll throw a little of that brown up there too. Which one was the brownish color? the thistle. So just on the corners there. And just move that around a little bit. All right. Let's get that off my hand. Put water on a washcloth and rinse it off. All right, taking our pencil, um, which one did I have here? I want the dark sepia. And we're going to darken some areas here, like shadowing. It's going over the gelatas that we put down like that. The last one I did was a little iridescent, I think. But a cool color. Okay, make sure our shadow looks like a shadow over here. Just kind of go really dark under her skirt and bring it out. goes up and 
and out and down. Can you see this? I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the um, skirt. Same thing we did up there. We did a little of it here, but we got to do the bottom. So it's just go over the black line in a little ruffly, shaky kind of pattern, and then bring some up into the skirt. You can make this longer, shorter. whatever you want to do. You can carry it out a little further if you like. But we're just wanting to make this ruffle as her underskirt, I guess. It's like the slip. little lacy bits. Okay. Go. Take our sepia and go up on here. Exactly sure what the top of that does. Put a little crack in there. a bit. Make sure it's nice and dark because it needs to be. Dark over here. I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming it's a flower. Oh, 
really darken in here because we can't really even tell what this is other than there's a flower supposedly somewhere in there. Okay, then on this side. If we get a little too dark, we can always bring in a little white and go over that a little bit. if you want to lighten up in the areas in here. We can go over those. We'll also blend any of those shadows if we want that done. It's the wax and the prisma that will help with that out. on this side, blend that yellow in with the grays and blend it off the page here. Then we'll go in this handrail, we'll do the same thing. skirt anymore because you notice the skirt is getting darker now that we have a lighter or a floor at least in on here <laughs> oh I didn't do this little piece of skirt over on these sides okay we'll get those done some of that color over to this side of the page. I'm not really sure if there's like a frame around here it's supposed to be. So we'll bring that out. Make sure it's nicely blended. Okay, run our finger around it. Make sure all those are like the gelato is all pushed into the paper. And like I said, it can come out into this area because we have to make shadows in there anyway. There we go. Okay. I think the floor looks pretty good. I'm going to go in with um, an eraser here. I'm going to put a little lumps in here or little bites of the rock just to add another little texture in there. Okay. 
we're going to rub it and get all that blended right into our lighter areas that we just put in and if we need those to even be lighter or darker we'll go in with a pencil but I want to get some of those in there as a highlight to our rocks. We can also add a little extra shine to our thing. <laughs> the sphere that's there. After doing it a few times, your eraser is going to get it pick up a little of the color that's there, and it's a little easier just to blend in a little white. As long as you do not clean off your eraser, so you can continue just pulling up some color, and it'll lay down some color in some spots. I'm going to lighten it just a tiny bit back along that wall so you get a little bit of what that wall is doing. Okay, and maybe just a one side of these little round pieces, which you only see two of, <laughs> which doesn't help much, does it? And we're going to do just a little bit on the uh, top pieces of these. Probably should go the other way, but this one's underneath a bush. There, and in here we're going to go up and kind of shape that heart just a bit. Want a shadow on it? These little, I don't know what they are, and those. We'll mark those up a little bit just to lighten them so you know what they're doing. A little off the top handrail. This also helps to blend. And down here on this, we're going to give it a little texture. Just like that. All right. Well, we got our gray down. And I think I'm going to call it <laughs> for today. And uh, then we will work on this greenery that we have going on. We also have a uh, house, church, something over here and the uh, sky so i don't know we're getting there hope you guys are enjoying it <laughs> it's gonna take a probably i don't know four more videos <sighs> hope you guys watch <laughs> hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and i hope you all have a wonderful day take care bye now <laughs>